Now, if you've watched the Houdini Game Dev tool set, um, I already page on my YouTube channel, you can know you can go ahead and bake this result in Houdini, but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and export and bake this in Substance Painter. So how do we get all of these meshes out of here to do that? And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna hit tab and start typing in fracture, or even better, probably static fracture. We're putting in a static fracture node, and we're gonna plug our result into this node here, and we're gonna change it from packed primitives over here to piece attribute, and we'll go ahead and change this container name to farmer export. And now when I hit static export, nothing's gonna happen. However, we're in the geometry, we're kinda, of, again, drilled down into this one geo node. Let's go back up to the object view, and you're gonna see now we have a farmer export available to us. So let's go ahead and hit control one, just so we go back to the one viewport here. And now we can go ahead and use this container or subnet. If you double click on here, you can see here's all your pieces uh, and your subnet input here, but these are the uh, body pieces that we were messing around with. So on the object level here, we can export all of this as an FBX. So pretty easy to do. Let's go in here to File, Export, Filmbox FBX. For the location, we'll go ahead and click in here and we'll go ahead and name it Pharma underscore low. So we have our farmer underscore high that we exported out of ZBrush, and that's the first thing we plugged into that geo node. Then we process it all down, and now we're going to export this as farmer low FBX. We'll go ahead and accept. And now we need to tell it the source objects here. You, there's two ways to do this. You can grab this subnet, and you can just drag it right on here. Or you can click on this little arrow thing and click on uh, double click on the subnet in there. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hit export. Let's go ahead and load up Substance Painter. Let's go in here to File, New. Select, let's grab Farmer Low, hit OK. And right away you're gonna see uh, Body Mat and Glass Mat all set up nicely for you. Uh, speaking of, you could go back in here, you could add your materials in here. You can go in here to like Teeth, hit Tab, add a quick material. The only thing you would need to do is once you've added that material, make sure it's selected and visible. That seems to help it kind of export. Uh, but in our case, we did it right here in the Geo node. So we're good to go. But anyway, back in Substance Painter, go in here to Bake Mesh Maps. Let's go ahead and say, you know what, Bake 2048s. Let's go ahead and click this. We'll do Farmer High FBX. And for the normal, we're gonna say Match by Mesh Name, and that's going to low, um, excuse me, that's going to match our underscore high and our underscore low mesh names here. And same thing for the ambient occlusion. Go ahead and click this and just say, only say Mesh Name. And then we can say Bake All Texture Sets. That's gonna go ahead and bake our body and our glass. And there we go, we're all baked, ready to go ahead and texture this guy up.